Hi everyone, my name is Kwame Ewuku. I'm the founder of Cagletics, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing cross tab in five minutes. Okay, now we are going to be using uh, Cagletics Analytics 11.1.7. Okay, so let's begin. First, I'm going to click the plus button and I'm going to select report. Okay, then I'm going to pick a template. Okay, so let's go and pick the one column and I'm going to click OK. So what do we do next? Let's go and look for our data. So we click select a source and I'm going to navigate over to where I have my data modules stored. I'm going to pick, let's see, we are going to go with the store sales Cagletics data module and I'm going to click open. Now, if you are enrolled in my course, you already know how to do this. So you are probably laughing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So when I click the plus button, because I have pinned these objects as um, you know, these objects are the objects that we use the most, so I have pinned them. So I can easily select cross tab here to begin, or I can go to the toolbox, and then you see these pinned items. They are the same. They are the same pinned items you see here. But if you don't have any of them pinned, you can go to data container, and you can double click cross tab. Okay, we are going to keep all of this the same. We are going to click OK. All right. So it places this cross tab here for some reason. Doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm going to drag it over here. All right, let's make this a little bit smaller. I think maybe that's what the issue is. Okay, so I'm going to select this whole area. I'm going to go over and I'm going to place the object at the top and we are going to go ahead and center it. Okay, so let's begin. Now, we are going to go back to the source so that I can start inserting the objects. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you something. When we go to the other date, we are going to pick order year. Now you see that it's just showing the other year, but it's not showing the actual value. To show the actual value, like 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, etc., we are going to click page design and we are going to flip to page preview. A lot of students have had issues with this. They are always surprised when they are not able to see the values. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort this descending. We are not going to write any code, guys. This is so amazing. Back in the days, we had to write a lot of code to get these done, but now it's all drag and drop. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter the title create cross tab in five minutes because why not we are all cognos jedis <laughs> okay click okay i'll come back and finish this if there's time actually let's let's do let's do a little bit of finessing now gosh i hope i'm still able to do this in five minutes we are going to see if i'm as talented as i think i am so i'm looking for impact oh my goodness kwame come on come on come on people are depending on you here Impact, where are you? Impact, oh my God, impact. Cognos, man, we need to find, have a search. Okay, so I found it. I'm gonna go ahead and make it 20. And that should make it look nice. Okay, very good. Okay, so in the rows, I'm going to put the segment. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put, I believe I had category. Oh wow, this is looking amazing. Now, let's go to the metrics. And we are going to first bring profit. I'm going to nest it here. This is important now. You gotta nest it under the years if you are going to be using two metrics. Wow, just like that, we are almost done. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. We need to add totals. So I'm going to add a total for just um, the categories, okay? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click total. And now it's showing the totals for consumer, corporate, and home office. If I want to add, see the total for all of these, you know, the segments, these are the segments and these are the categories. I click on the segment and I click total. And we are already in the money. Amazing. Now, let's do the totals at the edges. Now, this is the greatest trick ever pulled. Look at this. When I click total, Carlos is going to put a blank, but we are not worried because we are Jedi's. I'm going to go over here to my query. I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, don't screw this up now. I'm going to drag profit and you see it gives me the profit. Now let's make sure that it's correct. Two, four, six, seven minus here. This looks about right. If it's not right, oof, that's not going to look good on my resume. Anyway, is it over five minutes yet? All right, so this is looking good. Let's close this. Okay, so does it look good? Have I accomplished this? All right, so I believe this is looking good. Let's go over and see what I had before. Yes, uh, 93. 733, you got to validate your, your stuff, guys. 
9373. Okay, so this is looking good. Guys, I think we are done. Uh, let's see. What else can I say? Okay, so if you're looking for a Calculus developer to train your employees, guys, talk to me. But I think it's best for you to just enroll them in my course. This is nothing. We go all out in the course. Like, we do all types of crazy things. Like, this course style can become really gig gigantic. All right, let's finish this. Um, because if you create, uh, if you're in my course, you understand that finessing is important. Let's, let me teach you something. So let's put a big bar under this title because when we run it, it's not going to look really nice. Let's put a big bar. We're going to go to border. I, I drank, I've actually, um, I drank some coffee now, so I'm just hyper. I'm just hyper, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've put a bar here and then if it's negative, see, if it's negative, I want us to make it red so that the CEO can see the years that we were screwing up, right? <laughs> CEOs, they, they don't have a lot of time, you know, they usually like to play golf and such. So when, if you send this report to the CEO, you know, he wants to see, you know, the years that we have been screwing up, you know, so that he can decide what he's going to do with the employees, whether to automate everything or to hire new employees. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to the conditional styles, click the three ellipses. We're going to click the plus button. We're going to go to advanced conditional styles. We are going to click the plus button again. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm simply going to click profit and I'm going to say less than zero. Click OK. And then we are going to say if it is less than zero, do what? make it red we're going to click ok we're going to click ok again and you see everything that is negative is now red okay so my name is Kwame Awuku seriously if you need to learn Cognos Analytics the best place to learn it is by going to courses.cognitics.com do you want to get a six-figure corporate job as a data analytics consultant do you want to be able to live and work from anywhere in the world and most importantly are you ready for artificial intelligence Listen, data analytics is an extremely important skill in today's data-driven world. Nearly 90% of all the data available has been created in the last two years. Data is the oxygen of business. This means that learning to capture, prepare, and present data is going to put you ahead of your peers in today's competitive job market. Just like carpenters need tools, you are going to have to master at least one data analytics software application in order to become a data analytics consultant or developer. IBM Cognos Analytics is the top data analytics software on the market and it is being used by some of the top companies in the entire world across all industries like banking, finance, insurance, healthcare, human resources, sales, retail, the government, and even the US military. I have created an IBM Cognos Analytics online course to get you from beginner to expert in less than eight weeks. The skills you learn and the results you deliver using IBM Cognos Analytics will help corporations see opportunities and challenges in advance by, for example, focusing on customer behavior or specific product features, which will help in making better decisions for the near future. This will increase profitability, market share, and greater returns to shareholders. Being a competent data analytics consultant is like being a rock star in the tech world because you are able to magically transform boring looking data into stunning dashboards for executives, business leaders, and the top decision makers at every organization. And the best part is you can live and work from anywhere in the world for your American clients and you also position yourself for artificial intelligence because AI is going to depend on your data skills in order to get anything done. So enroll in my IBM Cognos Analytics online training course to get hired fast. Thank you very much.